Good morning, everybody. This is Letty Patino once again. This is day six of my 22 a day challenge. Um, if you've been following along, uh, I have been doing my challenge a little bit differently from everyone else. Typically, people do 22 push ups or 22 squats or some variation of the other. Um, but I decided that I wanted to do 22 interviews with 22 uh, <coughs> veterans uh, for my challenge. And today, um, I'm going to have Frank with, um, with me. Um, Frank, if you just kind of introduce yourself uh, as far as um, where you're from and uh, what, what your job was uh, as far as you know, what branch you served in the military and uh, for how long. I'm uh, I, uh, Frank. I joined out of Earlville, Illinois. Uh, is where I live now, back again. And uh, I served in the Army for four years, three months. I've been to Iraq, I've been to Afghanistan, did a few times in Southern uh, Barstow, California, Fort Irwin a few times, and uh, my job was a, well, what I trained for in AIT was a special electronics computer detection repair, but like anyone knows, that once they get in the <coughs> Army, they need, so when I got to my unit in Fort Carson, I was told I was going to become a mechanic, so for Three years that I was in, I was a mechanic, and that's what I did. Um, so what what would you say your biggest takeaway was from your time, your four years? Your oh, four years. well, for my friendships, uh, more like you know, they're like my brothers and sisters. Uh, like to the to this day, I still we still rag on each other. We still talk to each other. <laughs> Uh, like one of my best friends, she was uh, she was on that show Chop. Uh, she, yeah, you know what I'm talking. This is that show Chop. Oh, yeah. Uh, she, she was on uh, the veteran one last year. Uh, her name was uh, Roshanda. She went by Chef Row. She was on there. So you, it was a 2015. She was on that show and she actually won. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah. What's up, bud? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now I, you know, I understand that a lot of the transition from military life to back to living, you know, in, in the civilian wor world is, is pretty difficult sometimes, um, to readjust to that. What, what would be the best advice that you would give to somebody, um, as far as, getting back getting back to, to the civilian world and trying to readjust to that oh uh, well i see a lot of guys they uh they when they once they get out there they feel that they're alone um there's a lot of organizations out there that help them uh your american legion your, your vfw these are like dying places that uh no one really thinks about going to I mean, yeah you, you know you think you're young but they have those guys have a lot of knowledge that can be passed down to younger vets. You know, they've been dealing with stuff for, well, I mean, 60 years, you know, those guys, you know, guys from Vietnam that have been fighting for stuff that helps them. Uh, they have a lot of knowledge to, to work up with and to, to help guys. Uh, and there's a lot of companies out there that, that hire vets, that choose to hire vets, like the company I work for. Um, they they were voted one of the top uh, companies to hire vets. So that's like the biggest problem is when people get out they're they're like, oh, well, what am I going to do now? You know, you know, I used to drive million dollar tanks or million dollar pieces of equipment, and now I'm just a you know <laughs> burger flipper at McDonald's or something. It's, it's like it's a shock. You know, it's like your importance level is so low. But there's there's always ways to bounce back from it you know we have to rely on our friends use it like network with our friends you guys that have gotten out before you see where they at see, see where they see where they are at at their point you know like uh i've helped my friends that are around this area vets that didn't have jobs or got laid off to get hired where, hired where i'm at you know so you got to rely on the guys that are that are out first and I mean, not really rely, but network, you know? Yeah, definitely. I, I could see how networking would definitely help you out. And, you know, 
and it definitely, as far as, you know, fighting those feelings of isolation, fighting those feelings of, you know, you feel like you're alone, you feel like you're the only one going through it. Um, but I think just reaching out and networking to other people that have gone through it and are, you know, have, that they're basically a symbol of, of hope at that point to you that, you know, you can, you can move past that. Um, right. But yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so, so much. I thank you for your service and I thank you for the time that you, you know, you've taken out of your data to, to, you know, send this message out. You know, it's, it's not a message to me. It's a message to other vets. So I just, right. I, I thank you for taking the time to do that and you have a great rest of your day. Okay. Bye.